Look, I'm gonna start off by saying, you're trash, Iron Fist. Give me the glow. Daniel was huffing and puffing like he was really like that. But he wasn't like that. And when he tried to shove past Matt and couldn't go nowhere, he should have sat his stupid ass down. There is no way you wouldn't feel dumb after doing something like that. After rejecting Daniel's departure, Matt gave a little sniff. Some might not get it, but that was a flex. He was basically calling Daniel a using charades. Jessica looking at Luke, Calm looking at the screen. Because we both know this man Daniel finna get cooked. From this exchange, Daniel didn't learn. He asked Matt, are you sure you wanna do this? You wanna know how Matt responded? It is what it is. That's a nigga with confidence. Pure resolve in his hands. Not just one of them, both of them. The old nigga perked his head up excited. He's about to hear some furniture being moved. Hey, I'm not trying to disrespect him. He's my favorite out of the bunch. But Luke, shut your ass up and let them knuckle up. What Daniel is experiencing is a stage three crash out event. There's no stopping someone like this. It's like a bull when they see someone minding their business. It can't be stopped. It's gonna fuck up your day. Daniel cast out the first punch. And when your blows consume like a delicacy and a just standing there, you know how the fight's gonna go. It's no longer a mystery. His knees didn't even buckle a little bit from your punch. It's over. You're cooked. Like Rio, Matt tossed out a flicker jack and tried to follow another blow, but Daniel did manage to weave it and parry the other one. I see you can handle yourself. My bad, Iron Fist. That was until Matt sunned him, shoving him to the ground. I thought he was about to run his pockets for his lunch money next. The slow walk down on him as he recovered is just subtle disrespect that some might not catch. They had a nice little exchange of hands, but this nigga Luca disappointed me. Why are you getting involved? You just made yourself look goofy. He wasn't even pinned to you, but you missed your grab and got hit by a chair. It didn't hurt you physically, but it should've hurt you emotionally. Get your head in the game, nigga. Matt just over there trying to add moves to his moveset, hitting a front flip kick out of nowhere. It didn't work, but if you're having an easy dub, you might as well try something new. This old man is intently listening to the squabble session. After a brief exchange, Matt gained the upper hand again, blocking Daniel's arm, then feeding him a stomach punch, then one to the face, then tossing him again. After that, Matt was on his ass like Dr. Miami. He really rocked Daniel's world with a jab, had this man stumbling like the punch contained melatonin. They were on Full Metal Alchemist timing, the fight was equivalent to exchange. Then you had to hit some flips to make it like he was really doing something. He wasn't. Like, we're not blind. We could tell Matt's up on the scorecards. That flip ain't do nothing for us. Jessica really aided Matt into taking some damage from a Sparta kick. Like, move. What are you doing? It's knuckle up time. Jessica really out here saying stop the fight by attacking people. Good job. No one else is trying to do that. <laughs> Go back to the corner and watch the squabble. Now he done reached crash out stage four. School threat. He started glowing his hand, staring at it like it was a nine, talking about something. Don't make me use it, sir. I don't think Matt was using powers the same as an Iron Fist. He would just give you a good old fashioned fist fight. But like I said, there's no talking him out of it. And Luke had to learn that the hard way, taking the brunt of Daniel's episode before Jessica was able to put him to sleep. Like she couldn't wait for Matt to sleep him. She had to get involved. She had to feel useful. Matt was gonna get there eventually. Interrupting a good squabble session. That should be against the law.